I think you just have to go out and do it. Like there's moments, like when I was driving from St. Louis out here, like I had these moments creep in that were like, what am I doing? Like what, what have I done? <laughs> and so you just have to, you have to go through and you have to feel, feel it. You have to feel the fear. And then you have to work through that and realize like the next day, like, oh, it was okay. I'm Julie, I'm from Travel Nurse Adventures. And I just met up with Chris and G here in a parking lot in Tucson. Arizona. I have a new van that I bought. It's a road truck. It's a 2003. It's a Dodge. I uh, picked it up in St. Louis. I had no idea that I was going to get it and then I ended up uh, meeting this elderly couple that gave me a deal and now uh, I'm on my way out to California to work and so I'm trying to learn all about my van. This is my first trip with it. So this is Canyon. He's my travel companion. I uh, Got my bikes on the back, or got a bike in his dog crate. It's just a, it's a double platform bike rack, and then I got my mountain bike, and then I uh, got his dog crate. But I try to bike quite a bit when I'm out in California, and I can just swing this up, and it's kind of annoying getting the bike off right now with the rack, but otherwise it's pretty easy to deal with this kind of rack is. The only thing I don't like about this rack is that it doesn't swing out. I've had this, the swing away racks, um, so I think I'll probably trans transition to that in the future. So then I got my spare tire, and then this is just my gas and my LP tank, and then my propane's up underneath this way, so to turn my propane on, it's like up underneath here. And then I have my electrical hookup and my gray water, black water dump tank here. I haven't dewinterized the, the system yet. I'm still learning how to do it all. Uh, it'll, it's gonna be a work in progress. Right, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is where my potable water goes. And this is my fuse box, like my fuse access. I'm not gonna pop that off yet, I might break it. I woke up, uh, my very first night, I woke up at three in the morning and my carbon monoxide alarm was going off and I freaked out and I took the dog outside and I read about it and it was just a low battery alarm and I left the button on wrong. And then like the next morning I was fine and I was on my way again and I was in this like beautiful park in the middle of North Texas, and I was like, this is amazing. Right? But at the time, it was the end of the, it really was, it was the end of the world, and I thought I was just like so dumb that I didn't like turn that button off, I didn't know what I was doing, and thought that there was actual carbon monoxide in here, and it was just a low battery alarm. Okay, so this is the inside of the van. There's a lot of nook and crannies, like it's, it's more spacious than I imagined, so like this little area here has all kinds of just like my shoes and my camping gear and stuff. I have a little closet right here uh, where all my bathroom stuff is. I have a, this is kind of neat, it's an entire drawer. I just keep like, it's like my special drawer of my scarves and just knick-knacky stuff. Poncho, if I need to grab a poncho. Up here, I have, I have my bear spray. I have a machete. Uh, just like stuff I can just grab and access real fast, like a flashlight. This chair swings around as, as does this one. So if I'm like parked and want some more space, I can swing both of these around and hang out. And I can also set up a table right here. So it's a 2003, so there's just a CD player and a radio and the CD player actually is like broken. So I just have a little Bose, but I'm gonna get a little mountable. They have these like, I think they have them at Costco. These, uh, it's like a magnetic mounting thing that I can mount my phone and then also my speaker up there just so it's not sliding around. So I use my bike light as one of my flashlights. I can hook it up as well um, if I don't want to pull from another lighting source. And so I always just charge that stuff as I'm driving down the road. So my organization, I'm still like getting a system down. I'm pretty lacking, but uh, just for the ease of access, I have my bike helmet just like latched to my sink and then underneath my sink, um, cause, so I haven't really used my propane stove yet a whole lot. Like when I've been traveling out here, I've just been using my camp stove to cook in the different campgrounds. So I have all my like, uh, my fuel sources underneath here. And then just a bunch of water bottles, my cutting board. I have some food storage here and I'm about to get some Velcro that kind of, um, just to uh, hold this in place. Moving down, just some drawers, some silverware. And stuff there and then underneath here I have uh, just more storage my hot water tank is underneath here I keep all my coffee in my microwave so all my little French press up here just more storage where I keep some cups and some paper towels I got my three-way fridge down here which I've also yet to start using but I'm, I'm gonna take the leap and 
and use it here tonight. It's got some random stuff in it right now that we'll keep in the moment. And I have some clothes. This is all my clothes up here. I've tried to somewhat organize them with just some like zipper bags. It goes all the way back. This is where the old TV used to be. So I have uh, just some books and then this slides out. It's kind of messy at the moment, but uh, just some books for work and then my work stuff here. I have like a plug up under here. So if I'm plugged in, I can plug my laptop in and just work from there. And then when I actually drive down the road, I have Canyon's bed. Uh, this is his throne. I always look back and he's just like perched. This is where he stays when I drive. And then when I actually sleep, I uh, put his dog bed up front or on the ground. And then my AC is right here. I have yet to need that or use it. And then just more clothing storage up here, like my rain gear um, and just some other jackets are up there. And then this is the bathroom. Shower is in the middle and this is just used for storage right now. Just some towels and then Canyon's food goes here. Then when I actually get more settled out in California, I'll um, actually dewinterize it and try to attempt to use the toilet more often. I think my biggest fear is that I'm gonna like mess the system up in the van. Like I'm gonna like break the whole water system or just like break the van. <laughs> so you're not scared of like- So I'm actually not like, cause I've been, tra I've been traveling for the last two years. So actual fears of like being on my own, not so much. Um, I try to like watch what areas I go to and watch my surroundings. Um, so we'll see though. It's when I'm living the life that other people dream of when I was just in the middle of this state park and it was just gorgeous, like watching the sunset, like the New Mexico and Arizona border, hardly anyone was there. And I met, I was parked and the nicest couple from Vermont was next to me who also had a 2002, 2003 road trek. And they came up to me and they're like, man, isn't it beautiful weather right now? And I just like cooked this amazing dinner and was just relaxing. And it was just like right there in the moment where the reason why I do, like it's the reason why I'm doing this. And after this, you're heading to Joshua Tree. So you're just yeah. visiting Tucson for the day, heading down to Joshua Tree. Yeah, and then um, I think I'm gonna stop at these other dunes along the way, uh, just a couple hours from here. And then, so the moments of fear are definitely counterbalanced by the like beauty that you see in the world. Absolutely. So next time we see you, because you're going to be working in California. Yeah, working in California. Travel the, nursing. Yep, till the end of April. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be testing out the van to see if I actually can do it and like it. And but the goal is Alaska. Yeah, and then I'm going to go. I was in Alaska two years ago, where I met you guys, and then I'm going to go back here beginning of I think May. I hope you're still in the van. I hope so too. <laughs> I think I will be. <laughs> I think you will too. Thanks for your time.